There we go. A little overflow. Hey folks, it's me, Dr. T, back at you with another leap into that wonderland that is craft beer and good music. And tonight, it's another trip back out into the schmoojiverse. Yes, I know some of you really hate these, but it's cool. Um, I really like them. If you're not familiar with what a schmooji is or what the uh, type of beer this is, this is what's called a heavily fruited smoothie style dessert sour. So when you're having something like this, you know you're having something like this. It's very thick, like the consistency of a melted milkshake, perhaps very strongly flavored can be relatively to very sour at the same time being very sweet uh, and often strangely colored. Schmoojis come from imprint brewing. There are many breweries that put out smoothie style sours. This one happens to be somewhat local to me in Hatfield, PA. I've done other episodes. You can check them out here. Uh, of smoothie style sours, a number of them coming from imprint, so you can learn much more about the brewery there. But tonight we are having their orange vanilla cola schmooji. That's right, you heard me right. Orange vanilla cola. Like I said, I've done imprint before, so there's a lot of information in other videos. Uh, to recap it briefly, very cool place. I've actually uh, been there now. And, uh, it's really nice, uh, up in, uh, Hatboro, it's large facility. They have an adjacent free retro arcade. All the machines are free to play, which is pretty darn, pretty darn cool. Uh, but something that is also developed from the owners and founders of imprint, Ryan and Lisa deal, uh, have opened what's called serum kitchen and tap house. I'll uh, link it there. What the hell? Um, haven't been there yet. Would like to check it out. It is in Westchester, Pennsylvania, which isn't anywhere near Hatfield. It is a restaurant that's getting very rave reviews. They just opened it in March of this year. Uh, and they have plenty of imprint beer and other breweries beer on tap and in cans there. So... Uh, if you're out in Chester County, PA, and you have a hankering for some imprint style beers, uh, there's a place for you to go and get some. But let's crack this open and see what we've got. Uh, you will recall from other videos, whenever you're drinking any heavily fruited sour, you want to give it a gentle roll before you open. Reason being, these things have a ton of fruit added. Uh, this one doesn't, but many of them will have a ton of lactose added. Lactose is a is is milk sugar, which is a non-fermentable sugar, so it is a way to sweeten a beer uh, and not have to worry about that sugar being subsequently uh, fermented out. Have the sweetness fermented out and the alcohol level just go up. So as a result, you can get some sediment. So you want to release that settlement by giving it a general roll. There we go. A little overflow. Smells just amazing. I have to do a little bit of cleanup though. Stand by. It 
So, what you have there looks like orange juice, don't it? Thick, opaque, orange with a thick, dense, creamy looking, lighter orange head. As you can see, there is just no seeing through that. It is opaque. I can smell a ton of orange. Uh, yeah, you can if you can even smell the cola, which is really really cool. But what does Imprint have to say about this beer? Comes in at six point five percent, and uh, what they say is OVC orange vanilla cola, our splendid soda shop smoothie with fresh oranges, vanilla beans, and cola. So straight to the point. Let you know that yes, there are. Fresh orange is used, there are vanilla bean used, and there is cola used. And yeah, it, it smells like a orange cream Julius with Coke in it. And if you guys don't remember orange Julius's, it's because I'm old and you're not. Um, but they were kiosks in malls that you could get beverages at that uh their original beverage is called the orange julius which is essentially a orange smoothie um and this is rather reminiscent of that but if you added coke flavors are amazing though it is immediately very tart acidic from the orange juice, from the oranges, you get a burst of very fresh orange flavor, like if you're drinking fresh squeezed orange juice. At the same time, there's a lot of sourness coming through. But that's the Im immediately on the initial sip. Very quickly, you get a lot of creaminess. And with that creaminess, you get that vanilla flavor coming through. Uh, and hot on its heels, you get cola you get a coke flavor it tastes much more like coke than pepsi maybe tough to pull it out but it might actually be closer to rc cola But the overall experience is creamy, full, uh, very impactful on the palate. Really leaves you salivating between the sourness of the beer and the, the acidity and tartness from the orange. But the mouthfeel is creamy and smooth. There's substantial sweetness to it too, but it's, I think it leans a little bit sour than more sour than sweet. Oddly refreshing, probably from the citrus flavor, but it's definitely not something you want to like, this isn't sit out on a hot patio on a summer's day and have this as a refresher. No, you want something to refresh, have a, have a, a shandy or a Rattler or something. If you want something fruity beer that would be a nice refreshing light drink this is very heavy but it is delicious so what are we going to pair with this flamboyant beverage this very not mainstream beverage. A band that had been around for quite a few years, and I've enjoyed them for, for quite a few years, although you don't see them a lot, uh, not super frequently on the radio. There's probably on all the XM channels I listen to maybe three or four different songs from them across their career that you'll hear 
some somewhat regularly, but certainly not frequently. In 2016, they released a song that I really liked, and it was really cool. And at the end of the song, there's this guitar outro uh, solo that leads to the fades into the end of the song that was just distinctive and awesome. And I'm listening to it, and I'm like, that really, that really sounds familiar. And it doesn't sound like this band, what the other music that this band has done, but it sounds like something I've heard before and I thought about it for a while and I'll put links uh, below to some of the stuff that the guitar solo reminded me of uh, and it reminds me of probably one of the world's greatest guitarists Steve Vai uh, you might have seen him in the movie Crossroads with uh, Ralph Macchio I'll put a picture there but the uh, amazing guitarist started off uh, as the guitarist for Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention way back. It has done some amazing solo stuff. And uh, this band we're going to listen to tonight, which is M83, actually asked him if he would be willing to contribute to this song. And he's like, yeah, sure, send me a tape. Uh, and they sent him a tape. You'll, you'll You'll see the details uh, in the video, um, but he sent back some recordings and they incorporated into the song and it's just brilliant. But as I mentioned, the band we're looking at tonight is M83. Uh, they are a French band, a Fl French electronic music group uh, that was formed in Antibes in 1999 that have been described as dream pop shoegaze and ambient which you see the definitions popping up around you kind of gives you an idea yeah it's definitely there is some etherealness to it there is uh some level of kind of everything swirling and blending together but i never really feel it completely loses structure as a song which i really dig the song we're going to listen to from 2016 is called Go. So go and enjoy.
So how was that? I think that's great music. <clears throat> Check out the links below. There's a, a couple uh, songs from Steve Vai's solo career that I think are what the outro in this song was kind of triggering memories of in my noggin. A couple links below to songs like uh, Bledsoe Boulevard uh, and Lovers Are Crazy. Great stuff. You never hear it anywhere. So deep dive. Do deep dives every once in a while. You'll be better for it. Deep dive into one of these, too. Even if you don't think you'll like it, try at least one. Find a smoothie-style, heavily fruited dessert sour somewhere near you and try one because they're an experience. <sighs> but if you like what I'm doing here, give it a thumbs up. It's not hard. Subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the notification bell because I'm putting out new content all the time. Hate for you to miss any of it. But more importantly, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't. Let me know what you think of my shirt. A little cross pollination pop culture reference there. <clears throat> Let me know if there are bands or songs or beer types or breweries you wish I would explore. But until next time, dear internet friends, every once in a while, find something you don't think you'll like and give it a try.